Well, new here at 6 o'clock, there are new efforts tonight to help keep a legendary man on the Cape in his dune shack. As we first reported last week, the 94-year-old is facing eviction. WBZ's Mike Sullivan takes us to the Cape, where the community is rallying to help. At 94 years old, these nimble hands were made steady on canvas, even steadier on resolve. I've been going since I was 17 years old. That's... Uh... 1946. Sal Dodeo is an artist, a restaurateur, a veteran of the Korean War. After returning from battle, he came home to Provincetown. And that's the time that I met my future wife. He told her he wanted to take her to the dunes. His yeah. friend, Jean Frenchy Chanel, owned a shack out there. Frenchy, being French and romantic, she saw us as two young lovers. Said, oh, this is the lover's home. This is for lovers, and so you have to stay here overnight. His late wife, Josephine, became a dune advocate, lobbying for the park service to turn the dunes into a national park. They saw the park as the only final solution to the overwhelming throngs of people who came down weekends, especially the investors. Before Frenchie passed away, she first deeded the shack to Sal and then her daughter. We assumed the responsibility for the shack. We paid all the taxes to the town for years. Her daughter died seven years ago, but the Park Service only recently found out. Her death terminated their occupancy, closing the Del Deos out. Friends found a notice on the door. So your wife is instrumental oh. in getting the Park Service to take over the dunes. Yes. But now that same Park Service is yeah. evicting you yeah. from a shack. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's, the, that's the gist of it. This is Sal Shack. His family boarded it up for the winter. It's remained this way ever since they got the eviction notice. The National Park Service says they aren't actually evicting anyone, as the life tenants of the shack are now dead. They plan to offer the shack for lease in the future. Currently, they are offering eight other shacks up for bid. Like the Del Deos, many are still occupied by families, including Ariel Tasha. So our shack is only, it's under 100 square feet. We have one of, I think, the smallest shack in the dunes. Their spot was the first to be toured by prospective bidders. Her belongings are still inside. Originally, the tours were all supposed to happen on the 15th, but the Park Service extended tours due to demand. Applications will look at six different criterion, including finances. I don't have deep pockets. I'm, I come from an artist family. The shack owners call the upkeep a daily, year-round commitment. I don't understand how people, knowing now, after seeing this protest, could ever be happy out there. In Provincetown, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. I've driven through those dunes and seen some of these shacks. The upkeep must be very expensive because they're right there on the ocean and you know they get pounded during the winter. Very expensive. Yeah. And as he said, romantic locations, yeah. so beautiful, so hard for these families to see these rules come to pass. Yeah, we will continue to update that story and we'll be right back.